Start recording 10 seconds. <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Bo Sanchez here in Success Weekly webinar here in the Truly Rich Club and it is our joy that you join us and I am with a dear friend Tina Navarro. Hi Tina. Hi brother Bo. Thank you for joining us. Uh, it's my pleasure. Tina, I want you to listen carefully to this. She is a lawyer, a porny Tina, but do you know what she's doing now? She is selling longanisa. <laughs> no, and more. She and more. has a store in the wet market. So you might be, you know, people are going to ask, what is an attorney doing in the wet market selling, you know, longanisa and stuff? That's what you're going to hear. Because remember, here in Success, Success Weekly, one of the things that we love to do is bring out stories of people, present to you people who will inspire you that maybe, hey, there is some business, um, an enterprise that is there in your heart, you just don't see it, but it's there. And maybe by listening to this story, listening, listening well to experiences like this, you'll be inspired and you'll be able to discover and find. Also, for all those of you who have already businesses, stories like these will be able to instruct you and guide you. Tina. Yes. Brother. You are a lawyer. Yes, very uh, <laughs> well. Actually, I consider myself uh, a lawyer by title and an entrepreneur by profession. All right. Already now. Yes, but before you were practicing. Yes, I was practicing since 2008 from the time. The day after I, became, I signed the role of my attorney, uh, I already attended the hearing. Oh. So I practiced uh, for eight years. Eight years? Yes, uh, court litigation. Court litigation? Yes. You're the person there in front of the judge? Yes. Whoa. <laughs> yes, yes. And then uh, you, you, you were telling me a while ago that you still practice, but it's now more pro bono. Yes, brother. Yes. Um, actually, I retained um, some clients. Uh, actually, uh, now I'm helping one. Uh, she's a mother of five daughters. Her husband was murdered. Oh. And then uh, almost all her properties, those that were left to her by her husband, oh. were taken away from her oh, by no. the Indos. Oh, no. So we're trying to get the properties back. Yes, yes. So you're, you are in a crusade, helping people. Yes. God I bless can, you. Uh, <laughs> thank God you. God bless you. But when did this, uh, very interesting, um, when did you start? The having this idea that a lawyer can actually start a business. Actually, it's the other way around, Brother Bo. Oh, okay. Because um, I, I grew up in the marketplace. Oh. Uh, from five years old, I was already selling plastic bags. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my, it's not allowed. My parents don't allow us to go oh. to school unless we help. Oh. Sa palengke. So, wow. my mother, what she did, I still remember it clearly. She placed a plastic bag in my hand and she told me, Ibenta mo yan. That's 25 centavos at that oh. time. So, um, you were five years old? Yes, yes. Uh, it was, uh, but um, what's ironic, brother Bo, is that I was studying at St. Paul Paranaque. Oh. And it's an exclusive school. Yes. A bit expensive. So, at that time, as I was growing up, I felt misplaced yes. because that was not my environment eh. oh. but ma but now i realize the reason that my parents decided yes. to enroll me there because it was just three minutes walk from our house ah. though it's a bit expensive yeah so maybe they just yeah. uh, decided to be wise and enroll me there but growing up i, I really felt so misplaced yeah uh, it's, it was not my world yeah. Uh, because that's exclusive school. <laughs> and I'm, I, I just live in the Palenque. So it was hard for but me. But I, I like that lesson because uh, I'm a father. I've got two boys. And uh, the, the, you know, my, my eldest son, uh, at five years old, he also, I also asked him to sell something for me. So it was uh, bangus or, or uh, milkfish, uh, different products. And uh, I gave him a little, a little, uh, what do you call that? A menu of mm. products, and then he, he would go around and he would sell them. I think e even even that little experience. I'm sure it's not as extensive as yours, but parents, you know, give some 
entrepreneurial experiences to your children when they're small because they're going to carry those experiences onto right now my, my eldest son he, he creates music he arranges for music he just talked to a client uh, recently and uh, they he was able to the client's gonna gonna give him uh, 80 plus thousand pesos for for the arrangement of some some songs at 17 years old so that's the thing if you can if you can teach your kids uh, the entrepreneurial spirit yeah and then what happened um, so as I mentioned I was uh, when I was growing up at the back of my head I was telling myself I don't belong in this school. I don't belong in this environment. <laughs> but that, that formed my hunger. That formed my oh. hunger to be rich. Okay. That someday I will belong. All someday right. I, <laughs> I will earn. Yeah, I yeah. will earn. I will work hard. I will yeah. study hard. And then I'll be rich also. Oh. I will have my own car. I will have my own house. Yeah. And then um, my schoolmates in high school, in grade school, didn't know. Oh. The, so I was covering up that you you were that, actually from the market yes, quote unquote yes, wet yes. market. Wow, yes. that's what my what those people around me that didn't oh. know. So after graduating from high school, actually I was partly bullied. Oh, because I remember it in grade two, my classmate um, from the second floor. She called me plastic, plastic. What oh. I didn't know, she knew. Oh she watched gosh. me from five, five years old to grade one. She was watching me selling plastic bags. Oh my God. So, um, it was embedded in my heart that yeah. time. But it didn't stop me to dream. Ooh. So, I studied hard, graduated high school, took up scholarship in USD. I played judo. And then, um, because wow. uh, we, I was working since 18 years old. Wow. Selling in, in the morning and then studying in the evening, irregular student. Wow. And that's it. Hats off. Admiration, <laughs> respect. Thank you. <laughs> You're amazing. Yeah. Uh, to continue my story, uh, I started in first year in law school USD, but I I needed to stop because my sister got sick, uh, kidney failure. Oh. So um, I transferred to Arellano, and then I decided to give one of my kidney to my sister. You did. At 22 years old. Oh wow. Yes, so I God stopped. Bless you. Stopped for two years and then resumed my studies at 25 years old. Woo! And then I became a lawyer in 30 years old. Amazing. So that's it. You are a hero. <laughs> Thank you. You are a hero. Wow. So not, and not all people know that I'm a kidney donor. That's right. Yeah. That's right. God bless you. Thank God you. God bless you. And then you became a lawyer at the age of 30. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> and then, uh, just all lawyering for a few years? Uh, or was uh, there already something on the side? Uh, what, uh, the age of 30, that was in um, 2008. Uh, I remember in 2009, I, uh, I read a book, um, uh, Francisco Colaico. Okay. Pero mo palaguin mo. Yes. And then... I, I, I just can't remember if it was in that book that I read that when you are, when the student is ready, mentors will appear. Yes. So I was searching that time because I was really hungry to be rich. Yes. I really wanted to have, I, I want, because I grew up in the market yes. and life is a bit difficult there. Yes. So um, I dreamt, dreamt, dreamt. So someday, someday, someday. Wow. So... Um, in 2009, I, I attended your, your class, uh, How to Create Multiple Passive Income. Yes. That's when, that's when I met you. Oh. And then from then on, um, I started searching, learning, finding books, yes. finding mentors, wow. listening to audio CDs. Yes. And instead of watching TV, I never watched TV. Wow. I, I placed headset in my head, Woo. not to hear music, yes. but to study about Brian Tracy, John Maxwell, Woo. Napoleon Hill. So I loaded myself with that. That's great. So when during that time, I was already a lawyer. I was driving to Cabanatuan City. Yes. Um, I, I loaded myself because I heard so one thing. Um, turn your car into a university. Yes. And I followed that religiously. Woohoo! 
So, um, uh, going back, um, something was still missing. Uh, because whatever I do that time, I still can't get rich. I can't, hindi ako makaipon eh. No. So, sabi ko, so going to Kabanatuan, sabi ko, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's, what's wrong with my strategy? So, I started looking around. Yes. Uh, one thing I saw, um, yung mga generic soap. Okay. In San Miguel, Bulacan. Alright. Sabi ko, I have uh, my parents, um, na inherit ko sa parents ko yung besto sa palengke. Ah. So, why don't I make something out of this? Yes. So, going to my hearing to Kabanatuan, <laughs> I will pass by the shoe, uh, sabon store. And going back, dadaan ako dun, I will buy and load my car with sabon. Dun ako nag-start. Okay. So, sabi ko, um, so I was earning as a lawyer. I was also earning sa sabon. Oh. So, sabi ko, how, how can I do this? Yes. Nasa office ako na umaga. And then, um, paano yung tindahan ko? Yes. My mother then was so sick already. Oh. Stroke patient kasi siya. Oh. So, may mga yaya. So, sabi ko, I gave my yaya commission. Okay. So, I will give you 5% gross. Benda niyo yung sabon. Oo. Oh, oh. So, yun yung negotiation namin. Yes. Sabi ko, kulang pa rin eh. Sabi ko, sayang yung space. Sayang yung, yung pwesto sa paleng. Oo. Oh, oh. And then, I had a hearing sa Olonga po. Sa Olonga po, where I passed by Tita's Cusino. <laughs> Sabi ko, okay. I will, I will explore the market. Yes. So, I tried to contact it. But it was not available. They did not respond to me. Oh. So, I tried to contact Mikeni. Mikeni, yes. Mikeni. Uh -huh. And then Mikeni came to me. So, oh. sabi ko, I will start this. Yes. And then, um, when the business was already growing, yes. I sat in one place. Sabi ko, this business was my lifelong dream. Oh, because in God. UST, along one of the streets there, there is a Pampanga's Best Outlet. Oh. One time, when I was in first year college, I approached that branch. Ah. Sabi ko, how much is it to start a business? Yeah. Sabi ko that time, they told me, you have to have 200,000 pesos a starting 200, capital. Yes, yes. So I forgot my dream. At <laughs> that moment, when I was pondering, this was my long, tar long wow. time. Wow. Uh, so I was already in the pros and goods business. And then, Amazing. So the, I started calculating, computing. So I'm earning like this as a lawyer. So I have, for example, 50 clients, yes. and acceptance fee is this, and then appearance fee is this. Yes. You have to pay secretary, messenger, mailing, yeah. and you have to communicate with the police officer, with the <laughs> court employees, <laughs> gasoline, traffic. Ay, so tired. So for eight years, I felt so tired already. Because after hearing in the morning, we have to go back to the office and do paperwork. Yes. So uh, with the traffic going on, Maybe it will be nice or it will be more prudent if I stick with the frozen good goods business. That's right. And then, before I made the big decision, I consulted my best friend, priest. Yes. Um, Father John Paul. Yes. Father, try to help me pray if this is God's will that I stop for a while. Yes. Nakiusap pa ako kay Lord. Uh -huh. Lord, please. Allow me to stop being a lawyer. <laughs> Kahit two years lang. Kasi pagod na po talaga ako. Uh -oh. So sabi ko, I, 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 talk, I talk with my best friend. Sabi ko, Father, um, I hope you pray for me. Yeah. Sabi niya, okay, we pray, we pray. Wow. That was 10 in the morning. Sabi niya, okay, just join me. Sabi yeah. niya, I think it's with God's intervention that you start with your business and wow. go full time. Yeah. And then join me for lunch. You know that lunch time, Six more priests joined me. Ah. That's why, I, in, that, in that way, I thought and I felt that it was God's plan. Wow. Because I'm looking further, pondering further. I cannot give so much tithes yeah. as a lawyer. Okay. So, as an entrepreneur, because I follow 10%, eh, you, the one thing that you, requ uh, you advise, the formula, 100%, less yes. 10%, yes. 70 and then 20%. I followed that religiously, the 10% tithe. I told myself, 
if I will continue to be a lawyer, I cannot give so much. Yeah. But if I go being an entrepreneur, You'll give I, more. I will give really more. Yeah. And then, that's one. Second thing, I told myself, as a lawyer, I'm just earning for myself. Mm. But being an entrepreneur, I realize I'm giving job. Wow. I, I'm giving a source of income from for yeah. other people. Yeah. Now, if uh, we need some, um, I have two senior citizens. I hire them. They're yeah. my trustees. That's good. Um, now we are. I have ten employees from Wonderful. school. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, they're young, eighteen years old to twenty-three years wow. old. Wow. So we get these kinds of employees and guide them yeah. little by little. Yeah. Teach them how to pray. Teach them how good manners. Mm -hmm. Mold them little by little. Wow. So, and where are you? Where are you now in your business? Um, what do you mean? <laughs> it's amazing. You know what, what I love about your story? Yeah. You started in the market mm. at five years old selling plastic. Yes. yes. And now you're back yes, in I the am. market. And you're earning much more mm. than when you were a lawyer. Yes. <laughs> because, you know, when, when, I, when, I, when I don't know, a typical Filipino, when, when he says, hi, I'm a lawyer, you know, the first thing in my mind, uy, yaman ito. I mean, typical, typical... But you're saying now, well, it's okay, mm -hmm. it's okay, yes. but you've decided to become an entrepreneur and you're now earning much more. In one day, uh, how, how many kilos of meat do you sell and other products how many, uh, in, a, in a day in, from your store? Uh, 3,000 kilos average. Did you hear that? 3,000 <laughs> 3, kilos. That's an amazing business. Yes. That's an amazing business. Yes. By the way, Brother Bo, you mentioned about the lawyer thing and the, the being a lawyer and being an entrepreneur. Yes. Because somewhere along the way, I read the book. It's um, The Millionaire Next Door. Yes, yes. It opened up my mind because that book is about the study about um, a doctor, about the millionaires in America. Yes. The doctors in a contractor. Yeah. One needs to earn so much to get so uh, the top clients. Yes. And the other one being a contractor. Yeah. The contractor earns so much than the some privileged <laughs> lawyers true. and doctors. Because yeah, if, if, if let, let's say you end up in a party, you mm -hmm. know, you meet two people. One guy dresses very well, you know, with a with a barong tagalog, and then introduce. I'm a lawyer. Whoa! And then another guy comes along, dressed not so well, t-shirt, and says, "Nagtitinda po ako sa palengke." I'm a vendor. I'm a market vendor. You know, the, the mindset is, I, alang, vendor lang. Mm -hmm. no? parang, parang mababa yung tingin natin. But you're proving now, you're telling the world now, no, if you do it right, yes. if you do it right, you're gonna actually, you're fulfilling your dream. Yes, you're, partly I'm fulfilling my dream. Second thing, uh, I, I understand what you told me that when I'm wearing an Americana or a suit, <laughs> I really feel, feel prestigious. But that's superficial, brother Bo. Superficial. That's superficial because at the end, the, who really sees us is our God. Yeah. So he knows what you're doing. He knows how many people you are serving. So in terms of magnitude, um, magnitude of service, yeah. I'm serving more being an entrepreneur than yeah. being a lawyer. Yes. So that's my realization. Wonderful, wonderful. And and now of course you're you're still a lawyer. You're still yes. helping people. You're yes. still do as you said some some of your cases or probably most of your cases now are pro bono helping a lot of people. But you have now this thriving business. Yes. So it's one store. One store, yes, brother. Bo. One store. See, uh, our one store, but. An incredible location. <laughs> yes. Able to location, location, location. Able to help, uh, able yes. to sell so much and serve a lot of customers. Yes, brother. Bo. Uh, just to share, your brother. Yes. Um, last Independence Day, this was this thing is different that I did, because the store is already thriving by itself. So there is a commitment that I made last year that we're helping to put up a chapel. Wow. So what I did. I, I, uh, before I was serving Spisukat. Yes. And um, then I stopped. Yes. And, or I got so busy. Yes. So 
that was time, talent, and treasure I was sharing that time. That's right. So I decided, why not again, I share my time, talent, and treasure yes. this time in a different way. Yes. So what I did, last um, June 12, I said, Lord, it was raining that time, San Luneta. Uh, it was an Independence Day celebration. I'm giving gross. Wow. I'm giving everything. Whoa. What I will earn, I will give everything. Oh my gosh. So I placed everything in a plastic bag. Oh, wow. So and I gave it to Jen. Oh. Jen, this is everything that I earned. Ooh. We're not getting, getting anything from this. Yeah. We're giving this in full. Wow. So I don't know how much it is, but yeah. that's the thing. So Beautiful. Yeah. Generous. You've always been generous. You gave Thank a you. kidney. You're giving money. And you're, you're giving your services a, as a lawyer. Thank you. Thank you for that generosity. Welcome. Amazing, amazing. I, I'm, I'm very privileged to see you always at the Truly Rich Club, mm. Platinum yes, uh, yeah. level. She's, she's been a member for years now. Uh, such a privilege. You know that Truly Rich Club, Platinum level is, is such a gold mine. Mm. It's like you've got people like Tina there. Uh, and uh, so many fantastic mm. people. It's it's just amazing. Thank you. Yes, actually, I I, jo I joined the Truly Rich Club um, January two thousand and fifteen. Oh. Yes, because um, I I'm I'm a learner. I'm a searcher. Yeah. I always search for mentors. Yeah. That's where I found mentors in the Truly Rich Club, um, and I really feel thankful to you because when times are hard or very. I'm not hard anymore. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's an well, opportunity to grow. Yeah. That's what you thought. Yes. Oppor opportunity to grow. I find mentors. Sometimes I give message to Sir Ronnie. Yes. And he answers me back. Sometimes yes. it's with Dean Lapid. Yes. Uh, and I know I wouldn't have this privilege if I'm not a member of the Truly Rich Club, especially yes. with Platinum Group. Yes. And then um, attending the Super Conference, it it re-energized me. Yes. It, uh, the the membership fee it's nothing compared with the the composure that you get, the peace that you get, with the aura that I receive. I feel so at peace because it it always remind me being with these kinds of people who are billionaires, millionaires. They are so humble. I see humble people here. Uh, What's my, what's my, I'm not entitled to be proud because these people, they are so rich, <laughs> they're so humble. So what right yeah. do I have not to be humble? And you, you're, you're part of that team already, you know, you've been there for, for two years and so you've contributed a lot. So thank you. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. You're helping a lot of people. Now you're helping thousands of people. I hope you're being inspired by, by Tina and her story. And also the, the fact that, you know, her story is such a, it's, it just, it wakes people up. Your, your story is waking up people and saying, look, this is such a simple business, quote unquote simple, in the sense that, you know, some people are thinking of a complicated mm -hmm. one. You have a store in the wet market and there, it's, a, it's simple, but it's earning a lot of money and she's able to help. So think about it right now. Um, if you if you're thinking of a business, you know, maybe maybe you're you're thinking about something so complicated. What if uh, it will be as simple as that? Mm. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I want you to I want you to think about this. That a somebody like Tina, she could she could have. How do you, how do you call it? Parang you bought into the. Because what you did was you were a lawyer, and then you going to Kabanatuan, you would buy soap. Yes. Going back. Going back. Yeah. Here's the thing. So many, so many people would say it's below their dignity. Why? I you don't know, see it. People would say, I'm a lawyer, uh -huh. you know, and then I'm going to sell soap. It's like, and, and you, you did not have that. You did not have those blinders on. Yes. That's amazing. Because it's all about ego. Eh? I must admit, when a few years early during my practice, I it really felt good in an Americana. So everybody's <laughs> calling you attorney, attorney, attorney. 
Woo! From a market vendor to an attorney. <laughs> it's really a leap, grabbing yeah. jump. So, yeah. uh, I, I don't know, but it's really about giving tights. It's, it's all <laughs> about service, brother. But believe me. Because after serving last uh, June 12, I told Jen, life is it's no longer about being rich. It's, it's, there's a hierarchy. My realization is there's a hierarchy from, from serving God, s second, serving these people, and the third, it, we will be able to provide money for your family. Amen. So it's true. Eh? If you serve his uh, kingdom, money will follow. And I always, I, uh, I remember what my father said. Seek thee the kingdom of God, and everything shall be added unto you. Amen. So, that's true, brother Bo. That <laughs> happened to my life. And mind you, brother Bo, we don't live now in a luxurious subdivision. We don't live in a condo, brother Bo. It is my decision. Wow. That we live on top of our store in the market. Woo! Because I believe in the delayed gratification thing. That's good. So, that's very good. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. So, so Tina... Here's a question. Uh, did you really want to be a lawyer as a young person? No. No. No, brother Bo. Uh, no. I'll tell you honestly, no. But because why, why did you become one? Uh, my, my mother always told me, study hard. Para pag lawyer ka na, isang perma mo lang, pera na. Uh... So, huh? my life then was palengke, school, Palengke, school, yeah. sometimes gala, sometimes overnight consumption. <laughs> but palengke, school, study. So, okay, study hard, study hard. Pag pirma mo lang, pera na. What I didn't know, my mother was referring to a notary public. Ah, uh, notary public. Um, I don't know if you will believe me, brother Bo. When I became a lawyer, or gradu when I graduated yeah. first, I didn't know what the nature of a work of a lawyer is. Ooh. Honestly speaking. Wow. I didn't know what. Study hard, study hard, study hard. I studied hard and I became a lawyer. Not now. My yeah. big question is, what now? Yeah. I was the only lawyer in the family. Oh. So there was nobody to guide me. Yeah. So my, my other lawyers are distant relatives already. Yeah. And I grew up in the market. <laughs> With a mindset na, isang pirma mo lang, pera na. That's why I became a lawyer. That's a good question, actually. That's a good uh, question. Crazy. Yeah. Wow. So no that's wonder. crazy. No wonder. Yeah. And, uh, okay, here's another question. Mm -hmm. What is your advice to lawyers who are wanting to start a business also? Uh, I will quote my mentor, Brother Bo. When I became a lawyer and... Um, uh, my lawyer mentor was 72 years old then. Oh. And then he told me, Tina, you have a great potential of being a great lawyer. Yeah. But this is my advice to you. Yes. Start a business on the side. Uh -huh. Because, I'm sorry to tell this, but sometimes it is true that justice is sometimes for the rich. Oh. Sometimes it's true. Yeah. So, if you will be, continue, you will continue to be an uh, idealistic lawyer. You cannot depend on this as your only bread. Galing, galing. Otherwise, Great advice. Otherwise, the system will eat you up. Yes. So start a business so but nobody can pay you. Woohoo! Because it was my also my long time dream to be yeah. a judge. Yeah. So another sorority sister told me, earn, earn, earn first. Yeah. And earn good money. Yep. So when you're already a judge, nobody yep. can pay you. Beautiful. So, so I love that. <laughs> I love that answer. Yes. Wow. Uh, another question is this. How did you balance time as a lawyer and as an entrepreneur? Uh, at first, it's really hard, Brother Bo. Because um, I, uh, when I was so driven and my hunger is so much that I was an associate yeah. in a law office. I maintained my own law office. <laughs> I had myself licensed a real estate broker by the PRC. And I'm an, a PRC appraiser as well. Oh my gosh. 
I have five offices to handle. Ooh. And the I I was starting a business already. Yeah. So to answer your question, it's all about time management and life management. It's all about focus and choosing your priorities. Okay. Did you give up some of those roles? Uh, roles? No, brother Bo. So you maintained yes. this being wow. Because my guiding book then wow. was reach dad poor dad. Yeah, yeah. Because I I I live to the the principles of that book. Yeah. Being an employee and self-employed, a business owner and an investor. Yes. Yes. So, um, actually, it's all about time management, brother. Bo. I gave. Yeah, I, I will answer. Sorry, did I give up something? Yeah. Yes, I did give up something. Yeah. I gave up um, partying at night, watching television, <laughs> watching movies. I gave up myself, my personal self. Beautiful. Beautiful. Because it was my mantra, telling myself again and again and again and again, I will just sacrifice for few years, and I will enjoy myself later. Woo! That's it. So delay gratification. Delay gratification. That's the key. Yes. That's the key, guys. Pe yes. People ask me that same question: How can you balance my ministry mm -hmm. versus and business? It's it's. I I I'll give the same answer that you gave. It's really focused. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's it's about finding the right yeah. people to trust. <laughs> <laughs> because maybe it's my influence being a lawyer. Yeah. They're afraid to yeah. to rob me, yeah. <laughs> get something from me. <laughs> because I, I always explain to them. I been our employees, we feed them a lot. Yeah. Because we feed them rice, we feed them yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. There's no control actually. Once you became um, become our employee and you're thin, you will go out your fat or <laughs> Because rice is unlimited in our house. So that's that's it. good. Yeah. You and I'm sure they, they're so grateful for that, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. That's very important, taking care of your employees. Last question. What's your advice to those who want to start a retail business in the Palenque? Mm. Um, actually, the, the avenue for business is no longer in the Palenque only. Oh. Um, now, you can start your business in your home. Okay. In, your, in the subdivision, sorry, sorry, store. Oh. Because using the social media, um, you can call. call Are you doing that? We're, we're on to that already. already. We're do I'm doing it already. And, okay. But now I'm focusing on the events oh. because I'm, I'm in the study of putting up a franchise food business. Wow. Wow. So we're doing horizontal growth already. Oh, good. Wow. Okay. What, what is the, your biggest lesson in life that you want to share? Maybe that's, that'll be your parting message to those who are watching. Um, again, um, seek the first the kingdom of God and everything will be added unto you. Absolutely. Uh, it's all about putting your faith in God. It's, yeah. it's about giving tithes blindly and just <laughs> nah, That's true, brother Bo. Uh, you're, I, I, I love it when we do reverse tithing. It's no longer about 10%. It's more about 10%. It's more about life is all about giving because you will never know the day or the hour when wow. you will be taken by the Lord. Wow. So it's, I always tell this to myself. At least I know. At least I know I gave everything. Hmm. I gave my kidney. I gave money. <laughs> I gave everything. Everything I can give. And yet my coffer is always full. It comes back. Yeah, yeah it, comes, it comes back. I give because I receive already. Yeah. It's, I don't give because I want to receive. It's the other way around. Wow. I, I, you know me. Some, of, some, of, <laughs> some know me. And I'm this. And God loves me for being me. <laughs> and I, I was on church. Yeah. And because of the feast, I am already church. I can tell myself. Yeah. And I thank you, Brother Bo, for that. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> you know what? One of the things we, we want to share with you if you're not yet a member of the Truly Rich Club, I want you to consider seriously to join the club and learn these kinds of principles. You know, when, when uh, I was really, really moved when you said, at the end of the day, it's, uh, you know, you started with that. You said, I want to become rich. Mm -hmm. You know, you were growing up. But now, you're, you're telling me, it's not about being rich anymore. <laughs> it's, about, it's about God. It's about giving. It's about... And that's, that's, the, that's the kind of journey that 
people are having. I, I want you to understand this. The, the, the main lesson of the Truly Rich Club is how can I use the wealth that God has given to me or God will give to me to love, to serve, to be a blessing to other people. When, when that is clear to you, then money doesn't become a problem. And it doesn't cause pride. You know, you, you were sharing that our Truly Rich Club mentors mm -hmm. who are multi-millionaires and billionaires are very humble people. It's like, why? And well, if, if uh, I just had a meeting with them yesterday. Uh, we had lunch with, with these billionaires and millionaires and we, they, they just kept on talking about how can, how can they be a blessing to others? That's their mantra. That's like their perspective in life. And I see that in you. Thank you. <laughs> so it's uh, more, more mm. prosperity for you mm. Thank because you, that's the attitude. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. Thank mm. you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. So anyway, I, if you if you want to contact Tina, uh, maybe you, you want to hear more of her stories and all that. One one suggestion is be part of the Truly Rich Club, uh, platinum level. <laughs> you will see her see her there. Uh, get to know her. Uh, so so much uh, beautiful. Can I, can we pray? Can yes, we ask sir. the Lord for blessings for everyone who's watching? In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father in heaven, thank you so much for another beautiful webinar. And Father, I pray for every person watching this show that you continue to guide them and lead them towards their prosperity. A prosperity that's not selfish, but a prosperity that will flow out and overflow to the people around. Thank you so much, Father, for blessing us and being our miracle worker. This we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for the journey that, you know, you always accompany us here in Success Weekly. And once again, I'd like to invite you. The contact details are, are, are here. Flash on the screen for those who want, want to join the club, the Truly Rich Club. For those who want to become an entrepreneur and become a uh, platinum member, it's also there. And Tina, thank you. Thank you. Brother. You're you're such a blessing. Thank you, thank you. What a beautiful story. Five years old, selling plastic in the market, went to become a lawyer, but goes back to the market. That's an amazing story. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> and I will see you next week for Success Weekly. God bless you, everybody.